Welcome to Wat Prabhatam Chedi uh, Royal Temple known as Thai language Wat Prabhatam Chedi Rajavara Mahavihar. So, this temple can be regarded as one of the most important places or temples in Thailand. First of all, because uh, it is one of the six royal temples, first class royal temples in Thailand that makes this temple a very important place in a very important temple in Thailand because uh, out of these temples that are situated in Thailand four are located in Bangkok and only two temples are located outside of Bangkok and this temple is uh, one of those two temples that are located outside of Bangkok uh, moreover this temple is regarded or this believed as the first temple ever built in this region or Thailand at that time known as Suvarnabhumi. So at that time after the third Buddhist council with the patronage of King Asoka the Great they sent missionary monks to spread the teaching of the Buddhist Buddha to many countries and one of those monk uh, missionary routes that went to spread the teaching of the Buddha was Suvarnabhumi. Arahan Sonathera and Arahan Uttaratera, they came to this region which at that time known as Suvarnabhumi and chose this exact place as their resident place where they would uh, make this place as a center and propagate the teaching of the Buddha or spread the message of the Buddha to the Suvarnabhumi. So now we are at inside the shrine hall of the Paruang Rochanarit statue can be regarded as the main Buddha statue of this temple because whoever comes to this temple or whoever thinks about this temple automatically has to think about this standing Buddha st statue known as Paruang Rochanarit which means the explained or which means the blessing will fulfill intention or the fulfill the wish of the people who come to uh, worship this special Buddhist statue. Therefore, that is why there are so many people from all around the country and also all around the world come to this place to worship this Buddhist statue. And you can see here uh, in this shrine hall resembles the place where the Buddha was born, which is the Lumbini in Nepal, where the Buddha was born. And this shrine hall was built to commemorate as a represent place of that place where the Thai people can come and remember that incident and commemorate or think about the place where the Buddha was born. Therefore, this, that is how we can see a statue of Prince Siddhartha when he was born is uh, carved here to resemble Lumbini in Nepal where the Buddha was born. So this is the innermost section of Paruang Shrine Hall which is located at the north side of uh, the temple. It depicts the incident when the Buddha was living in Parileyaka forest in Kosambi. As the story goes, the Buddha had to uh, go into seclusion away from the monks who were fighting with each other in Kosambi and he lived alone in the forest. While he was living alone in the forest, uh, there came an elephant and a, and a monkey to look after him or to 
uh, provide him with food and things necessary for his living in Pali Lejeka forest. So this is where uh, that incident is depicted in the innermost section of the Paruang Shrining Hall. Here we are at the eastern side of the temple in the shrine hall named in Thai Vihan Luang which means the main chapel or main shrine hall or main royal shrine hall. This uh, statue resembles the incident when the Buddha attained enlightenment. As we saw earlier, the previous uh, chapel or shrine hall behind the Paruang Rochanari uh, statue, we saw that uh, shrine hall resembles or had uh, portraits of the Buddha when he was born and here indicates or depicts the incident when the Buddha attained enlightenment. Uh, so as you must know the four places uh, Buddha in introduced or Buddha recommended for a Buddhist to visit and feel the devotion towards the Buddha or to show the respect to the Buddha are the place where the Buddha was born where the Buddha gained enlightenment or attained enlightenment and the place where the Buddha preached his first sermon or delivered the, his first uh, sutta or the Dhamma Chakapavatana Sutta and the lastly is the place where the Buddha attained final Nibbana or Parinibbana at, uh, where the Buddha passed away. So these four chapels in four directions of this temple resembles those four places. So here we are at the second place where this that resembles the place where the buddha attained enlightenment so that is why one reason that is why this place is called vihan luang or main chapel so inside and also when royals come to visit this temple this is the shrine hall where they come to come inside to pay respect to the chedis as we can see when we go inside we will see that from this only from this shrine hall we can see the Chedi or the pagoda very clearly and there is this space for viewing or paying respect to the Chedi or the stupa or the pagoda and also only in this direction of the pagoda there is a Buddha statue situated we can see when we go inside that there is a Buddha statue that we can pay respect to situated or built in the pagoda itself so let's go inside and see the main chapel or main Shine Hall. Here we are at the innermost part of part of the main shrine hall or Vihan Luang in Thai or the Royal Shrine Hall. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the only shrine hall of, of the four shrine halls or four viharas in the four directions of the Chedi where we can see the Chedi or the, see the pagoda clearly and pay respect to the pagoda while staying in a shrine hall. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the only place or the only direction where there is a Buddha statue located or built into the Chedi itself. So as we can see this Chedi, the Chedi we can see from the outside here is about 167 years old. But as I mentioned earlier, this temple is very old temple. Therefore, 
inside this chedi or this pagoda there are other two old stupas or chedis located so this chedi or this pagoda has been built covering those two old pagodas and within all those two old pagodas one of those pagodas is the oldest one which resembles or which is similar to the structure or the style of the pagoda crea creation similar to the Sanchi stupa in India. Therefore, that was the oldest chedi or oldest stupa located at this certain point. And after a while, uh, about uh, 1800 years, years after the Buddha's Paranibbana, a local king who reigned this region built the second pagoda or second stupa in, on top of the old pagoda or the old chedi. So that pagoda is also inside this pagoda or this uh, stupa. Uh, we cannot see today because the chedi we can see now is, uh, as I said, 167 years old and 120 meters high is the chedi or pagoda that was built at the uh, last phase by uh, the, this present king monastics of the Thailand, the Chakri kings, the King Rama the fourth started this this creation of this pagoda and King Rama the yeah. finished the work of this pagoda. So uh, as I said earlier, uh, this is the only place that we, only shrine hall that we can come and pay respect to the pagoda while s staying in the shrine hall and that is why when the kings or royals come to visit this temple, they come inside this temple in order to pay respect to the pagoda or the chedi. Here we can see the drawing of that chedi or the stoop of this temple as I mentioned earlier as being uh, three chedis or stupas built on top of each other and as I mentioned earlier the last the visible chedi or the stupa that we can see today being on top of all those previously built chedis or stupas and uh, covering those two old stupas chedi or the present stupa that we can see today has been built. Therefore, as they knew that after the completion of this stupa or the chedi, there is no possible way to see those uh, old or previous uh, stupas that's, that was there when they started to build this present chedi. Therefore, they drew, drew how it was or how it is inside this chedi to illustrate the situation or to illustrate the structure of this chedi. So there, here we can see those older or previous two stupas as I mentioned earlier the first one in the below is the chedi that looks like or that resembles the Sanchi stupa in India. So it looks like is in the style or the that building manner as similar to the chedi or the stupa of the Sanchi stupa and after after that a local king or local governor of this region built the second stupa that we can see the white one covering or uh, on top of that old stupa so the last stupa which was completed about 167 years ago has been built covering all those previous two stupas Now we are in the Uposatha Hall of Wat Prapatam Chedi Temple. Uh, Uposatha Hall can be translated as chapels. Uposatha Hall is where the monks perform their disciplinary activities. Uh, for example, as when a person ordains as a monk, uh, that performance or that activity 
must be taken place in a Bosata hall. So uh, this place is a significant place uh, as thus. So therefore whatever monastic or monastic affair or any activity, disciplinary activity of the monks uh, is taken place. For example, when a person be uh, becomes a monk or when twice a month when the monks have to gather to recite the Patimokha or the rules of the monks to remind them of their uh, rules, Vinaya rules. So all these things takes place at this place. And also the Buddha statue that we can see in this temple, in this uh, hall, is a very old one, uh, more than thousand years old. And about thousand years ago, this region had the kingdom of Dwaravati. It is called the Dwaravati period or Dwaravati in, Th in Thai pronunciation, but it's in Sanskrit pronunciation it is Dwaravati period. So at that period, Buddhism was uh, the main religion of that kingdom as well. And this place has been a temple. And also around this region, there were so many Buddhist shrines and Bu Buddhist statues created. So this, this Buddhist statue that we can see in this temple has been brought from a place very nearby in this temple and, and this Buddha statue belongs to the Dwaravati period and we can see a very unique very unique position or the posture of Buddha, Buddha statue that uh, we can see because normally uh, the Buddha are not seated in this manner uh, therefore this is one of uh, very uh, uh, very distinctive and very special Buddha statue uh, that uh, need to be paid a visit when you uh, come to this temple. When the kings come for the cutting a robe offering ceremony, as I mentioned earlier, this temple is the first class royal temple. Therefore, the cutting a robe offering ceremony is a royal ceremony of this temple. A king or a, a representative of the king must attend is the person who comes to offer the Katina row after the Vasa season or the, after the rain is a rainy retreat uh, you know there is this Katina row offering ceremony so the, at this temple the Katina row offering ceremony is a royal function where the royal workers they come to arrange the ceremony and uh, and the king is the president or the, the king is the patronage of that uh, cutting a rope offering ceremony. Therefore, a prob mo most probably a king must come to offer that cutting a rope or a rep representative of the of the king, most, most pref preferably a prince or a princess of the king, a daughter of the king would come to offer that cutting a rope to the monks who uh, has stayed uh, the three months of rainy retreat at this temple. So this chedi or this stupa is a replica of the original chedi or the second chedi which is located or situated inside this uh, big chedi that, uh, is, that has built uh, at the last phase of creating this chedi. So as after the creation or the uh, completion of this, uh, the last one, there is no possible way or the visible way for people who come to visit this temple therefore they have they built this uh, replica of this second chedi which looks like to so people can know how that chedi looks like there is a chedi which looks like the chedi we can see inside this temple until today So this is the, the shrine hall at the southern side of the Chedi or the pagoda. So as I said earlier, this place indicates or depicts the incident when the, when the Buddha preached his first sermon, when the Buddha delivered his first 
Dhamma talk to the five ascetics. At that time, they were five ascetics. Afterward, they became the first group of Arahants or the first group of Buddha's immediate followers who attained enlightenment. So, here we can see uh, that is the, the statues or the incident that indicates or depicts the incident uh, that happened uh, at the uh, Isipatana Migadayavana in India. Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier, the four directions of this temple, uh, the shrine horse at the four directions of the temple, uh, they represent those uh, four major incidents that Buddha advocated or that Buddha recommend for a Buddhist to go and visit and, uh, and show their devotion or the respect to the Buddha at those certain places. So, this is a kind of taking those four places into this place so the people who come to visit this temple can see and can remember those major incidents that happened in the uh, in the buddha's time uh, or in the uh, history of buddhism This is the shrine hall at the western side of the Chedi, uh, which resembles the uh, incident where the Buddha passed away in Kusinara. So, they built this uh, statue to remind the worshippers who come to this temple about that incident when the Buddha passed away. And that is why they have built this uh, reclining Buddha statue in this western side of the shrine hall. This is the chedi of this temple or the pagoda uh, which is 120 meters high and which is uh, 167 years old. So the King Rama IV started the building of this pagoda and the work completed in the reign of King Rama V. Most venerable Dr. Prambhuti is the current abbot of Wat Prapatam Chedi Royal Temple. Since being appointed as the abbot of Wat Prapatam Chedi Royal Temple, the most venerable Dr. Prambhuti has developed the temple to be a very good uh, temple with all the facilities a temple must possess. Under the leadership of Most Venerable Thero, the temple, the accommodation of the temple, of the monks in the temple got renovated and built to be a very good condition. Not only that, the Most Venerable Thero has been supporting the education of the monks uh, not only Thai monks but also foreign monks as well. Under the leadership of Most Venerable Thero, so many monks have received sponsorship and kindness of the Most Venerable Thero that they could complete their monastic education and also other divisions of higher education as well. Not only the monks but also so many lay students uh, receive the sponsorship or support of the Most Venerable Thero uh, uh, continuously. 
Under the leadership of Most Venerable Thero, the Pali School of Wat Prapatamchedi Royal Temple has been developed or has been elevated to be the center of monastic education in Nakhompatam province. The monks from all around the Nakhompatam province comes to study at Wat Prapatamchedi Pali School. Not only the educational field but also the practitioner practice side of the buddhism also received uh, support from most venerable thero since being appointed as the abbot of this temple the, the, the most venerable thero built a new uh, three new meditation centers within the temple premises and also renovated the old meditation center uh, located in the premises of Wat Prabhatam Chedi Temple. The Most Venerable Thero has completed the highest monastic education in Thailand. Uh, since the completion of his education, he has been receiving uh, positions uh, to control or govern the monastics or monks uh, both inside the temple and also uh, in Thailand itself. The highest position held by the held by the Most Venerable Thero is the uh, regional governor of uh, monastic administrative division number fifteen, which included four provinces uh, to uh, be taken care of. Due to the excellence of the Most Venerable Thero's administrative capabilities, the temple has been praised by. King Rama the Nine as one of the cleanest or uh, well uh, managed temple that he has ever seen. Uh, the Most Venerable Thero has been uh, giving Dhamma talks and educating people all around the Thailand for a long time. Uh, so he has also been invited to give Dhamma talks in presence of the kings and the royals of the Thailand so many times as, as well. Not only taking care of the spiritual side of the people in Thailand, but also whenever the Thai people in Nakhompatam province and also all around the country has been affected by any uh, adversities, the temple under the leadership of Most Venerable Thero has extended their kindness and support uh, for their living condition uh, all the times the people needed uh, support from the temple. Especially re most recently uh, when the COVID-19 problem occurred in Thailand and the people had uh, hardship or difficulties in maintaining their uh, livelihood, the temple has uh, ever since the start of this pandemic been giving away food for free, uh, distributing food and other other necessities for free for the people uh, every day uh, until up until today. So let us all, toge all, all together wish most venerable Thero long life and happiness and healthy life uh, to the long time to come so that he could uh, conduct his administrative and religious performances uh, for a long time to come.